We have with us today Logi's Senior Product Marketing Manager, Jason Yang. Welcome, Jason. You could please switch on your camera. Yes, we can see you now. Uh, you can please uh, share your presentation. Thank you. Thank you for a nice introduction. So let me share my screen. So I guess you can hear me, right? So hello, everyone. Uh, this is Jason Yan from Longji. I'm very pleased to give the speech here. So today my topic is about uh, HIMO 7, uh, efficiency and its best for utility applications. And firstly, I will give a quick introduction of our company. So as, as you may know, uh, we have ranked the number one uh, in terms of the wafer shipment and the motor shipment uh, for three years. So last year, actually, uh, we have shipped uh, 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 about uh, 47 gigawatts uh, model. And, and also, we are focused on the improved efficiency. So in 2022, uh, we have ranked number one in terms of monosilicon cell efficiency, for example, uh, for the N-type uh sale uh we have got to the 26.81 percent uh sale efficiency record and also for the p type uh we have got the uh 26.56 percent so we are folks uh on the long time life cycle reliability uh the long time the long term management philosophy uh, combined with the leading financial health and product quality other guarantees for our uh, to continue providing the high quality solutions and the service to our customers. And also we are focused on the leading technology. As you can see, every innovation of uh, Longji has realized the industry value, uh, become a benchmark in the industry and accelerate the optimization of the industry LCOE. So, from the monotech, monoperk, and bifacial perk, M6, M10. And now uh, we have the new tech uh, regarding the HPBC cell tech and HPDC cell. So all of these demonstrate the leading technology for Longji's product. And now, uh, thanks to HAM7, and uh, now we have the product uh, portfolio including HIMO5, HIMO6, and HIMO7. So basically, HIMO5 is a universal product, so it's uh, fully verified for the many years, which is very mature and cost-effective, and its power generation performance has consistently expect customer expectation. So normally, uh, we have collected uh, uh, a lot of customer feedback. Uh, the energy yield of HIMO5 uh, can be like... Uh, uh, five to ten percent higher than the expect ex expectation, and for HAM six, so basically it's a monofacial model, and it's primarily for the distributed market. So it will offer an ultimate appearance and outstanding performance. And for HAM seven, so it's it's bifacial model uh, based on the N type technology, and it's for the utility market with limited land high albedo and high temperature, high level cost. So uh, then I will introduce the HIMO7, uh, which adopted upgrade technology or reliable choices. And for the HIMO7, so it's based on the M10 uh, wafer with the power of 580 watts and the efficiency um, is about 22.5%. So uh, the temperature coefficient for HAM7 is minus 0.28%. Uh, this, this will give uh, more energy yield, especially in the high temperature area. And also the bifacialty is 80%. So it will uh, uh, deliver a high energy yield. 
And for HAM7, advanced technology in the green has adopted uh, for this product, as you can see here, uh, high quality M10 N type wafer, and HPDC by facial cell with high performance, high precision SMBB bus bar, interconnect, interconnection technology, and also high strength and weather resistance aluminum frames without a seaside on the short edge and a high reliable two plus two plus millimeters dual glass structure and combined with high standard 25 amps junction box. So all this will give the excellent performance of Hammer 7. And also uh, we focus on the long-term life cycle. So uh, we have the life cycle quality guarantees the long-term reliability of our product. So for HAM7, actually, we ensure the excellent performance of product through five-dimension design in terms of the special paste additive, grade A plus silicon wafer quality, and SMBB technology, uh, encapsulated system optimization, and uh, lastly, the high reliable automatic welding. So all of this will make sure the HAM7 is uh, highly reliable. And now uh, I will introduce the uh, HAM7 Excel uh, performance. So firstly, HAM7, as I mentioned before, it has a higher by fragility, so, uh, which is about 80%. Uh, that means the power generation in high abated scenario can be increased by more than 1%. And HAM7 has the better temperature coefficient, as you can see here. Uh, we have the minus 0.28% uh, compared with the mainstream product, product uh, minus 0.34%. So it will, it can increase power generation about more than 1% in high temperature environments. And we have the leading product warranty for HAM7. So first year degradation is uh, less than 0.8%. And linear degradation is less than 0.38%. So why we can get this uh, amazing data? Because of, as I mentioned before, we have the uh, Longis life cycle quality system to ensure our model is uh, highly reliable. That means we can get a uh, leading product warranty uh, for, the, for the 25 years or even 30 years uh, life, life cycle. And for HAM7, uh, we have the uh, better energy yield. Uh, actually, it's compared with uh, mainstream product, product in different locations. It's almost uh, have an average power generation about 2%, maybe 2 to 3% uh, higher than the product. product. Uh, this is simulated by the PV system. And also, we have a uh, Pilot project demonstrated the energy yield performance of HAM7. As you can see here, in, uh, in the next half of 2022, so HAM7 has a power generation gain of uh, about a 2.9% compared to the mainstream product. And actually, the power generation data uh, is from the Hainan demonstration power station uh, in the second half of 2022. And as you can see here, the location is in Hainan province. It's a uh, high, uh, high temperature, high humidity uh, location. And the land type is sermon. Uh, Abita is 27%. So uh, actually this year, so for HAM7, we have a plan of 30 gigawatts production capacity and Sarah Cell factory is in Ordos and the motor factory we have Chuju and Jashi. And also uh, in the Intersolo, we have also released a concept of product, I mean, uh, which is uh, uh, based on the HGT technology. So as you can see, uh, based on the wafer uh, with thickness of 130 mic uh, micrometers, uh, we adopt uh, uh, non-crystal silicon dioxide layer um, to make, to optimize the preservation of the cell uh, performance. So that means we can get the highest uh, cell efficiency, which is 26.81% uh, uh, for our uh, concept uh, uh, product. As you can see here in the front side, 
uh, this is a, a structure for the uh, HGT, and this is a, a back service of the HGT. So there, uh, so why why we can achieve? Uh, I can give an example because we use, uh, I mean, we can between the TCO and the uh, the silicon silicon layer, we adopt the amorphous amorphous silicon uh, with the bonding hydrogen layer. So actually, this this layer can include uh, is a buffer, so it can uh, improve the cell uh, preservation performance and also uh, reduce the contact resistance. And also in the back service, we have adopted. Uh, some te technology like the hydrogen plasma treatment uh, regarding the TCO layer. So this will also uh, increase, further improve the cell efficiency of the SGT cell. And lastly, uh, we have also uh, released the um, uh, Longis uh, Perivascite stacked cell uh, water efficiency, which is 33.5%. Actually, on June 14th, uh, we announced at the Solar that it has achieved a conversion efficiency of 33.5 of uh, for its crystalline silicon uh, perovascular stack cells on the commercial grade textures, uh, see the silicon cells. So this uh, cell efficiency is certified by the Authority of European Agency, ESTI. And also, I gave it just a, a, a simple example where, where we can uh, get this uh, highest uh, cell efficiency of the perovascite stacked cell. So, as you may know, for the uh, titanium cell, uh, one challenge is that uh, when you combine the silicon cell and the perovascite cell, because the surface of silicon cell is texture surface, so it's very difficult to. Uh, combine them to uh, improve the preservation. Uh, and Longji, we uh, have a technology breakthrough in terms of this uh, interface uh, process. So that's that's why we can improve the uh, same efficiency and get the highest uh, efficiency of uh, 33.5%. And, and another one, as you may know, uh, the one advantage of the tandem as a stacked cell is that uh, perovascular uh, cell and silicon cell, it has a absor absorption spectrum, a very wide, very wide uh, uh, wavelengths. Uh, I think that's all, thank you. So uh, there may be very quick uh, summary. And Longji, we are focused. At, we think uh, we are very focused on the cell efficiency and uh, reduce the uh, LC of power plants. So we insist on um, uh, improve the cell efficiency and the model efficiency and deliver high uh, value to our customer. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. That was really an interesting presentation. Um, probably I could just ask you a few questions here. Uh, you just shared that you have plans for 30 gigawatt of annual production capacity for HIMO-7. Um, so can you share the uh, commercialization rollout plan for HIMO-7? So normally at, uh, for the commercial plan, uh, I mean the mass production of HIMO-7, right? Yeah. Actually, in the uh, next half of this year, I mean, begin from the July, we have mass produced the HIMO-7. It yeah. will be available for shipments. Yes, exactly. Okay. And uh, also, if you could share something about the HGT uh, heterojunction commercialization plans. So, for the HGT, uh, because it's just released in the solo, it's a concept of a uh, product. Basically, now it's in the RD stage. Mm -hmm. uh, normally, uh, when you go to a com commercialized stage, uh, it will take like uh, maybe two or three years. Okay. Yeah, something like that, more or less. And uh, also taking over from what uh, Marcus Fisher just said that, you know, from 2026 is when they uh, see that uh, uh, tandem will become, uh, you know, will be start up, will start appearing from 2026 onwards. So what do you think at Longi um, for your tandem, uh, you know, commercialization of tandem technology? 
Uh, yeah, as you can see in the InterSolar, we have released the tandem like combined with the perovskite uh, with silicon cell. So we are working on that. Uh, I mean, it's it's also in the R&D stage, and we we believe we will put it to uh, mass production maybe in a few years. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Jason. And um, if you could please stay back and answer some of the queries, I can see there are lots of queries coming up for you also. So if you could please okay. stay back and answer those. That'll yeah, be no problem. I will try to answer the question. Yeah. Thanks again.